A young worker in the barn should always be aware that you're working around animals that weigh 12 to 1,500, up to 2,000 pounds. Where they want to go, if you're in their way, they're going to win that battle. So always, if you're in the barn working the cows, never just have your head down. Always be situationally aware that those cows weigh 10 times as much as you, and if they want to go from A to B, they're going to walk over top of you. Handling cattle really comes down to getting what needs to be accomplished, but doing it in a way that is, is, is quiet, where the cattle aren't confused. The cattle know what you are expecting of them. Cows are animals of habit. They like to do the same thing every day, every time. If you try and switch that up, they may resist and um, try and do otherwise. So moving cows is, is not easy <laughs> at the best of times. So. Safety in the barn begins by wearing the correct personal protective equipment, or PPE, at all times. Different PPE may be required for different jobs. Speak with your supervisor if you're not sure of the PPE policy at your farm. A clean barn is good for you, your fellow workers, and for the livestock. Trips, slips, and falls are the most common source of injury in the barn. It is essential that handling areas should be kept clean and tidy. The spread of bacteria can occur in an unclean barn. Do your part to make your workplace safer. I think having a clean barn is very beneficial, in my opinion, um, not only for the health and safety of the animals, but for the health and safety of the uh, employees as well. By keeping the barn clean, it means you're paying attention and you're looking. You're seeing manure, you're seeing a clump of hay, you're seeing some baler twine. That means you're aware of what's going on, you're actually looking. When beginning and ending work, as well as before and after meals and after washroom breaks, hose down your boots thoroughly and wash your hands with warm water and soap. Wash your work clothes regularly. Keep your vaccinations, such as tetanus, up to date. Disinfect cuts, abrasions, and bites immediately. No drugs or alcohol should be in your system when at work. It takes skill and plenty of practice to get cattle to do what you want. And at the same time, you need to keep your own personal safety in mind. I think it takes a number of things to be a good handler of cattle. It takes time to learn just the personality of the animals you're working with. It takes time to, to really learn how to move with the animals. Cows really like to be handled in quiet ways and they will respond accordingly where they just move slowly and they move methodically. It's when you get them all excited that's when sometimes accidents can happen or situations happen where a cow panics, moves a little quicker, hits you because you've put yourself in a situation you shouldn't have. When preparing to move cattle, begin by planning the route you want the cattle to take and set the gates accordingly. This will reduce stress on both you and the animals. Speak in a low voice, be calm and deliberate, and be patient. Handling is ideally done with no noise, no arm waving, and no yelling. Make sure when you are moving cattle that you always have an emergency exit route. Don't allow yourself to get squeezed between two cows or between a cow and a fixed object, such as a wall or high fence. Be aware of what's behind you. It's good to know your exits out of the pen if you, you know, there's a gate with a manhole that you can easily access in case a cow were to push you or you, you were to injure yourself and you know how to get out safely. They definitely are bigger than you and, and can do more damage to you than you can to them most times. Never struggle with a non-cooperative cow on your own. Always ask for help from a coworker to regain control and avoid stress to the cow. Be aware that large animals have a blind spot directly behind them. Stay out of this area as cattle are prone to kick when they become aware of activity in that blind spot. For your safety, never walk through a collected herd of cattle. Instead, use an alternate route or designated walkway.
Be aware of indicators of stress in livestock. This can be in the form of head and tail positions, pawing the ground, or bellowing. Stressed or fearful livestock pose a greater risk to workers. When using headlocks, avoid these pinch point zones. Simply reach around, not through. So if the cow moves its head, there's no chance your hands or fingers can be pinched or crushed. Be aware of and avoid the swing range of automatic electrical and pneumatic gate systems. These gates can move without warning and easily knock a person over. Make sure you are well trained before handling cattle. Ask for assistance from your supervisor until you can competently handle cattle on your own. Out in the barn, it is true that if we can be uh, a good handler of cattle out there and move them quietly, it's, it's to our success. We're gonna get, get what we need to get done accomplished and we're gonna get it done safely. That's gonna make everyone successful. Remember, wear proper PPE at all times. Practice good hygiene to increase safety. When handling cows in the barn, plan ahead. Be calm, deliberate, and patient. Always have an emergency exit route. Avoid the cow's kick zone and blind spot. Be careful around gates. Watch for pinch points. And lastly, always ask for help if you are not sure.